Welcome to the ladies' room. Today it is my great pleasure to have with me my dear friend, Geraldine Lewandowski, who is the director of this show, a very talented artist. And every year in April, she puts together a really fun event at Oshawa Hall called Art Groove. And that's what we're going to be talking about today because it's coming up. And with her is John Jinx, who last year did an incredible projection on the front of Oshawa Hall. He is a wonderful filmmaker and a, a graphic cinematographer. Motion graphics artist. Motion graphic artist. Yes. Okay. So, Gerilyn, what's Art Groove all about? Well, Art Groove is um, it's sort of a happening that comprises um, visual artists, um, video artists, musicians. Um, and we have a, an, a Saturday evening event that starts out with uh, some live music. Uh, we have two bands this year. Wow. We have John's new band, Number Nine. Oh, and then cool. we have uh, the King Bees, which is a great rhythm and blues band uh, featuring Frank Latour, who uh, has played with Johnny Winter and uh, was nominated for a Grammy in the past. Then John is going to do these great uh, uh, motion graphics on the outside of uh, Ashua cool. Hall. That's very cool. Um, so he's going to tell you about that. And then we showcase the artwork of uh, 14 uh, fabulous contemporary artists. Uh, this year, uh, Hans von der Bovenkamp, who is a world-renowned sculptor, is actually going to be debuting some paintings that he's working on. Wow, so Hans it's painting. really excellent. It's really going to be yeah, it's really always, awesome. It's really such an interesting show. Um, what gave you the idea to do Art Groove? Um, well, there were many uh, sort of group shows happening uh, out here on the East End in East Hampton, and uh, quite a few of them have like size limitations where you can only put in one piece or something. Oh, yeah, a lot of small and pieces. And two small pieces. My, my work happens to be kind of large, and many people work in larger formats. Yeah. So um, I decided to do a, a collective of artists instead of just getting mm -hmm. a, a, a lot of you know pieces, let's say, from 50 artists. I, I only do about a, a dozen artists right. and give them a nice uh, chunk of space on the wall, and they can put either lots of small things or big things. Use it any way they want. Any way they want. Yeah. And as long as it looks good. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we make it, we hang it really yeah. well. I mean, they have to help. How long have you that. been doing this? Uh, this is the seventh year. Wow. So the other thing we put in the art groove is, uh, since I really love to dance and stuff, is uh, later on in the evening, we like, you know, break out the music and we have one of the best dance parties on it the East It really Day. is a great so. dance party. We so love it. Really we love it. We love it. So, um, how do you get the artists to participate in it? Um, well, I I go to quite a few, you know, openings, and then mm -hmm. I look for like artists that I feel would uh, relate to Art Groove, and then I invite them. And and mm -hmm. then over the years, since we've been doing this seven, you know, seven years, there's quite a, an extensive yeah. list of artists who have been in it in the past. So, but every year we'd like to have somebody new and fresh. Sure. To uh, you know, to, to, to add a little sparkle to yeah. it. It's really such an interesting show because there are so many different um, perspectives represented. Um, there's abstract work. There's landscapes. There's and you put it together so well. The, the flow of it is always so beautiful. You brought some work uh, with you today to, to show from. Past well, actually, we have some slides here from past, uh, you know, from 2016 and 2015 that we can take a look at now, okay. and uh, you can get a little uh, feel for what art groups all about. That's What's uh, that? Charles Waller's uh, fish painting. He's uh, um, in this uh, year too, so he'll have some new stuff. And oh, that's one oh, that's of my you. pieces. That's you. Uh, your shoe series. Yep. They're quite fabulous. Um, this is Laura Benjamin. She's been in it a couple years. She does this great candy wrapper art. It's all like little candy wrappers, all it, folded it, up. It's amazing. It and they're is, big, isn't it? too. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's Mark Zimmerman. He was in it uh, a couple of years. It does uh, uh, abstract. And the abstract art. lovers. Yeah. yeah. This is Joyce Romando, her fun Beautiful. painting. She's Beautiful. also a a well-known um, 
a children's author. She and does she big does, murals. She does murals and she does drip painting. This is Anahi Discanio, a fabulous artist. She's been in it for uh, almost since art group started. Um, and what else do we have here? Uh, there's John with his uh, first band called Out right. East. Okay. John's on the right. Yeah. yeah. That was, what uh, was the name of the first? Year. This is a group of uh, Happy Revelers. Yeah, this is Anahi and uh, Beth Barry and Nadine uh, Daskaloff. There's Joyce Romando with her painting. The painting. Uh, this is two pieces from Charles Waller again. He always has a nice sense of humor to his work. <laughs> <laughs> he does. I like There's the John's dresses. piece. Oh, that's very cool, yeah, John. John's Do you have a motorcycle? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's another piece of mine called Trophy. Oh, that's are, beautiful, Geraldine. Uh, I've never seen that. Serographs on canvas with some mixed media. Uh -huh. uh, that's Nadine Daskaloff. She does a lot of uh, portraits primarily. Uh, this is uh, Michael Cardesino. Th this was actually illuminated sort of with a black light. So you he loves to do Buddhas and yes. spiritual work. <coughs> and that's Rosalind Brenner's piece. This is uh, Ursula Thomas, who's also in it this year. She does uh, Chinese <coughs> Russian paintings. Uh, this is Frank Latour, who's also the lead singer of uh, the other group, uh, King Bees. Uh, that's Amy Winehouse. Uh -huh. This is Michael McDowell, who Michael we know. McDowell. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's Ellen Dooley, one of her pieces last year. And this is Charles Waller's uh, famous uh, wedding dress series, which is I really love the phenomenal. wedding dress series. Hysterical. And this is uh, Ginger Handler, one of her uh, dress pieces. What is that, shells in that? And uh, this is uh, the King Bees, who will be also playing this year, uh, Frank Latour. That was from last year. There's Frank on the harmonica. And there's his cool It drummer. really is such a fun party. <laughs> <coughs> There's some uh, uh, Springs people, Kevin and Terry Kennedy, and Gary Shatmire, who's also a wonderful artist. And that's pretty much it, I think, for our um, past shows. So what's, what's new this year in the show? Uh, well, I'm my voice. <coughs> John's going to be showing two projection uh, map videos outside, so kind of think very cool drive-in movie because it's outside. <laughs> and that is going to be fabulous. Um, we have uh, Hans is showing new new work. Uh, as I said, never never been exhibited yet, so that's going to be great. Two bands, and of course the great dance party. Uh, some of the newer artists this year is uh, Jerry Gilberti, and um, he photographs. Yes, uh, it's like a sepia tone gold printed <coughs> photograph, and Beautiful. then we have um, uh, Dan Gonzalez and his wife. Uh, Ron Norquist, they're doing uh, sort of a black and white conceptual piece on the wall. And, uh, oh, um, Lou Zacks, uh, although he's passed away, his, uh, uh, his uh, uh, widow, uh, Fran Caston, is bringing some pieces uh, of wonderful oil paintings that uh, she has. And uh, one of the most uh, famous ones is the one of the Sag Harbor Theater, right. which I think right. everybody's going to love. Right. Because, as we and know, will Fran be there? Fran will be there. Oh, I love Fran. So um, she'll have prints available, uh, you know, to, for you to see. And that's that's pretty much it. But uh, uh, you having any kind of an event on Sunday? Be usually no. There'll just be gallery hours and it's Easter. Yeah, so it's people Easter, will be so around. People, you know, if you miss it Saturday night, come and see the work on Sunday because it'll it'll be really great. And uh, um, also. Uh, you can look at you know artgroove.info and if you are an artist or a musician or a performing artist uh, please contact us at groovy <laughs> at artgroove.info and you know we'll we'll take a look at you for some future shows but oh, that's cool. uh, what I'd like to do is John talk a little bit about you know his uh, the graphics that he's doing on the outside because this is really you haven't seen this anywhere <laughs> so because it's made specifically for Asheville Hall. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. I mean, this this piece is uh, was well, two pieces I'm doing, and one's called Reboot, uh -huh. and the other one's called Red Dress, and like I said, they're made because it's projection onto the building. Right. It has to be made for the building. So anytime you do a projected p 
piece it has to be make or whatever you're projecting it onto. And it's huge. It's a size. And do you use lasers? How, how, no, it's just, it? you just use a projector. Yeah. But you make it on a computer and it's, uh -huh. and it's graphics. I mean, it's motion graphics. And it's, uh, they're, they're both about, uh, it's, it's, it's done to music. And one of them, uh, well, Reboot is just a piece of music that I composed. And then it's the you work. You compose is, music too while well, yeah, you're I'm a musician. A musician. Yeah. Um, and it's basically, you just, I don't want to give either one away uh -huh. about what they are, but, um, but I think everyone would enjoy them. Um, the red dress is a spoken word. I have some friends from London that uh, we went to my studio and we did this piece, the music, and then I did the animation to it. So that's what we'll be showing. Huh, and, and what is your motivation for, for, for doing these things? Where do you get these ideas from? Well, this, this stuff is, uh, usually it starts with the music on this, but I, I mean, what I do for a living is, is motion graphics, right. so um, I'm skilled in that. But this work, I, it's fun, because I get to just come up with something. And usually I have an idea, and Reboot is kind of about where we're going as society. Oh, boy. <laughs> what should we do? Yeah. And it's not really, it's just kind of, uh, and Red Dress is just a, a funny little piece about a, a, uh, a couple getting ready to go out, and that's all I need to <laughs> tell you about. But it's really yeah. funny. It's, a, it's got a good. Put on your red dress, yeah. baby. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, Can kind people? Of. Do you sell these things? No. Well, I sell my work, but this stuff is no. This was done specifically for when Geraldine had asked me to do the art group because we also I did a documentary on Hans Van de Bovenkamp. Right. Beautiful documentary. We showed that one here yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. And, uh, I've actually been working on another one um, that we showed last year. I, I showed last year at a, not at Art Groove, but at uh, uh, the regional show that's there. Um, but it's another documentary. But um, that's kind of neat to get into film stuff too. For yeah. The, for the Could people hire you for uh, to do these sure. kinds of things at parties and stuff? That would be interesting. Well, that's a little bit different because it does take a while to do the pieces. Yeah. Um, you know, it's good. It's, uh, up to two weeks to produce them. So they, unless they have a big budget, they can... Well, know. these people out here, yeah, and they like sure. to do something different, yeah. and you're certainly different. Yeah, no, you'll see. Yeah, if they would want to, sure, why not? So how do you create these? I mean, what's the process? Uh, it's done on a computer. Yeah. Um, you have to learn several different uh, software packages, and some of it I shoot. This, these pieces are all done in the computer. I don't shoot, because a lot of my work involves shooting. Like this week, I'm going to the city to do a music video. Mm -hmm. and uh, I, But this stuff is just all, I create it all. You're I, doing a music video for a big rock group or something? It's a band <coughs> called The Flux Machine. The yeah. what? The Flux Machine. Flux? I thought you said the FUD machi Fudge <laughs> Machine. No, Flux Machine. Yeah, no, they're like okay. a kind of alternative punk, punkish. Fun. But they're very commercial. They're very, very, it's a very good band. Fun. And where are you going to be shooting in the city? In a studio, green screen oh, studio. studio. Yeah, it's a green oh, okay. site studio. Yeah. Nice. Huh. Yeah. Huh. And um, how does all of this all fit into Art Groove? Well, it's just part of the whole experience. We're trying yeah. to make it more. Every facet. It is, it is, you know, an art show, but it's almost like a social experience as well because there's so many different things happening. Uh, last year we had close to 300 people show up over I the time. Remember. So there's, you know, big a, dance party at the end. <laughs> a big dance party. Everybody loves the music. Everybody loves the video. And well, you're all, you're also a great DJ. I mean, you put together the best dance. Uh, well, that's what they tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we dance like crazy. Yeah. So yeah, and then uh, the, this year we're going to have. Um, Barbara Bellotta is going to be in it. Uh, she's been in a few other art grooves. Um, she does this really wonderful large format uh, acrylic resin paintings. And Nadine, you saw one of her pieces. Uh, she does a, a variety of portraits. Sort of, she sort of has the feeling of like a Matisse and a uh, wow. really great artist. Uh, Anahi DeCanio is just a, a, a fabulous painter. She does large format, small format, and she's affiliated with many uh, interior design organizations, and her stuff is just really gorgeous. And if you are looking for the perfect piece for your wall, I would definitely recommend that. Um, Jerry Gilberti, as we said, uh, is uh, new this year, but he's got some fabulous photos, uh, a lot of the uh, East End. 
Uh, I know there's one image. I'm not sure exactly what he's going to be showing because people decide, you know, what they're going to yeah. bring to uh, when we hang the show. But he has like a, a great photo of far old farm fields out here, and uh, the modern snack bar on the North Fork, which I is love really the modern snack bar. Uh, cool. Uh, cool image, uh, and Dan and Ron are new to the uh, art group, so they're doing sort of this black and white conceptual um, piece. I think it involves nine pieces of work in, uh, interchanging with each other, and of course uh, Frank Latour, who is the lead singer of um, the King Bees, uh -huh. um, he's a great artist, and he did last year. He did a lot of um, uh, rock stars like you had Amy Winehouse and Jimmy yeah, that Hendrix was a great, great painting of Amy Winehouse. Yeah. So uh, I'm not cool. sure what he's going to surprise us with this year, but yeah. he's a he's a fabulous craftsman and uh, his pieces can be quite large. Um, I'm working on some new things. My work is basically um, a photo silk screen, which is called serigraph, and I'm incorporating it with other mixed media. So. I have a few things done, and I've got one more piece to finish for the show. And show is April 15th? Yeah, it's April 15th, Saturday. Uh, the, it's, the uh, opening we, is we, um, Well, the opening 6 till 11, or as I say, till the police come. But Yeah, <laughs> right, because by 9.30 we're dancing like maniacs. Exactly. Right. But the gallery hours, uh, we're open at noon, and we go till yeah, yeah. maybe at 10 or 11, depending on how how it goes and then yeah. on Sunday it's like 11 to 5 so um, the other artists are uh, Joyce Raimondo who's uh, you know, does uh, murals for many of the schools on Long yeah, Island. Yeah, so beautiful work. It's great. The, 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 the whole um, um, Very campaign colorful. against bullying and, yeah, she's, and great. she's way ahead of her time with all of that really. Um, Absolutely. Big, big murals on walls in schools and has all the kids painting them. Yeah, she's she also a, does uh, great work. Uh, drip paintings at the Jackson Pollock House right. on the weekends in the summer, and right. she's uh, and that's good for birthday parties for kids to book, book her to do that. Yeah, and she does. Um, she has has, has many uh, published books out as well. Yeah, she does. So uh, in addition, we have Cynthia Sobel, who's uh, does abstract and uh, figurative paintings. Uh, I haven't seen. Uh, preview of her work this year, so I don't know what to say about it, but uh, I'm sure it'll be great. She was in uh, one of the very first art grooves. Um, then we have Ursula Thomas, who does Chinese uh, brush paintings, and she actually uh, teaches that occasionally in some of the schools out here. Mm -hmm. um, also, uh, Hans von der Bovenkamp, as I mentioned, you're going to see some great stuff that uh, That'll be unusual. I have never seen any of his paintings. No, not many people have. No, I mean, I've uh, been in his house, but he didn't say, well, I did that one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mostly see stuff around, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, of course, Charles Waller, who's uh, he's also having a show at the White Room, actually, on April 8th. He's got a whole new series of uh, pirate oh, So that work. comes first, April 8th, and right. then yours is the next right. weekend. Yeah, okay. Art Groove is April 15th and 16th with the big party uh, at 6 o'clock on April, Saturday, April 15th. So don't worry. Your taxes, you have uh, uh, yeah. a few more days to yeah. get those done. Come out and party with us. And then, of course, um, Lou Zacks, uh, his uh, paintings that uh, Fran will be presenting. Uh, yeah. Oil on canvas. He was a great local he artist. He's a wonderful person. We miss him a lot. Yeah. And then John, uh, maybe you could say something about your your new band, Number Nine. That's going to be because oh, I yeah. haven't heard anything. Uh, no, yeah. this is a uh, um, well. I used to have this uh, a band called the Number Nine in the nineties. Number Nine, Number Nine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, it was it's always been a trio. And we actually back then I was renting houses out here before I moved here. So, renting houses? Yeah, it was renting when I moved yeah. here in 2000. Yeah. But, um, so we, you know, perform at our houses, at the, at the wherever we were renting houses. Um, but that kind of was... So you'd have I a party. Rip, yeah, you'd have you'd a have big party, party in the rental house. Exactly. All right, back in the day. <laughs> 300 when we people had, show yeah, up. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's like my Christmas that's party. That's where I got my idea, there the old go. 300 yeah. people yeah. party. Nobody Ashwell has... <laughs> right. You need Ashwell Hall to have it now. No. 
No, but anyway, I've been playing in bands out here. I mean, I've been a musician my whole life, and uh -huh. I had a recording studio. And you play guitar, so. basically? Uh, this band, I'm playing guitar. Mm -hmm. But I've played, uh, most of the bands out here, I played bass. Okay. Um, now you're doing lead guitar. Yeah, now, now I'm singing. I wrote all these songs, too. It's all, wow. all original material. And you're singing? And I'm singing. Oh, great. Wow, that would so be a be treat. I get to be the front man, I guess. That's yeah, great. rock it's star. A totally, it's a great experience, I mean, to kind of get away from just being in the background, but but I love the fact that you get to play, as, whereas now you have to focus on your performance and singing, and it's very different, but, but it's, it's growth. still very, it's, growth. it's great, I yeah. mean, it's, uh, to and get to sing again, and the fact that it's, I get to do all my own material is really great, so it's fun, I'm looking forward to it, it's, it's kind of starting a little push for the summer to do something else, you know, out here, and it's a... Uh, so you've been a musician your whole life, but how did you get into motion graphics as well, an I've art also, form? I've also, before I did motion graphics, I was uh, a commercial artist in the city. Oh. And uh, I did that for, lived in the city for 17 years, was very successful at it. Um, I had reps all over the world, I've had my work in Times Square on billboards, so, you know. Really? Wow. So what is your background in art? Where did, how did you get started? Did you... Did you start playing music as a child, but also were you drawing all the time, or yeah. how did it all yeah, evolve? I was, I was the kid in the corner with the crayons and the, you know. <laughs> I, de I definitely was not a, like a kid running around all over the place. I was in the corner drawing, and but I always did that, and I always knew that it would be art, would be what I did. But I had uh, my dad was a singer. Oh, so cool! He was, he was a very much. Uh, Where did he big sing? Influence. Well, he had his own piano bar, but he was a, he was actually a very good singer. That's cool. And, uh, so that was kind of an influence on oh, me growing that. up. He was always sure. in big bands, and so he had a nice stereo. It was always Stan Kenton or somebody playing. Yeah. So that was an influence, even though my parents got divorced when I was about 10, but still he was around, and, you know, so there was a bit of a musical influence. And I got to jam with him sometimes later in life when... You know, I was in college and stuff like that. Very so, cool. Yeah. Where did you go to school? Did you go to art school or a regular school? Just a regular university. Um, I was. Uh, I started school as a musician at college, and uh, but I only did it for one year, and then went into art. And I went to the university. I'm from Kansas, so I went to the University of Kansas, and, uh, and then switched to my major to visual communication, uh -huh. and then left there and moved to New York and never looked back. <laughs> Never yeah, looked right. back. So, and did you? And you moved out here full time in two thousand. I moved out here full time. Bought bought some land in ninety eight, and then had a house built and moved here. Yeah. in Two thousand. When did you move here full time, Geraldine? Uh, ninety ninety eight, actually. Gosh, but, we've uh, all been here for a long yeah, time. Yeah, I I bought my house in ninety six, but I was yeah. still doing the Manhattan. East yeah, Hampton we commute. went back and forth for a couple. <laughs> we we for moved here full time in eighty seven. No, really. 89, we were doing the bat when I had Jennifer in 87. And then once she started walking around, I realized I didn't want to raise her in the city. Yeah. Because uh, the parks were crazy and people were running around on Broadway at that time, sticking, well, someone was oh. running around with a syringe, sticking people on Broadway. And we lived on the Upper West Side. And I was like, I am so out of here. Yeah. So aren't we lucky to live here full time? Oh, it's so fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. So. Yeah, so this is great. Everybody's going to be at Art Group. You're yeah. multi-talented. You direct this show. <laughs> yeah, I You're do. an artist. It's the first time I'm on you this You do graphics. <laughs> I know you don't want me to mention websites, but you have done such beautiful... <laughs> you did Lou Zax's website, which was amazing, and Hans's, and yeah. you do incredible yeah. work. I know it's a lot of work, though. Yeah. And you've done magazines. Yes, I have. And your background's in um, ad agencies? Um, I went to... Pratt Institute, and I've had my own a advertising agency since uh, 1979 uh, was when I first started. Then 1981, I went on my own. But I'm uh, the person responsible for the old, uh oh, Sergio, Sergio Valente jeans. <laughs> oh, really? That's where we got all the music and, and everything going in with the you know visual art, and um, that's sort of like uh, really. Uh, when I started, like MTV was just coming out, where, yeah. they, where they were putting music with visuals. Uh, generally, before that, it's like 1980, said, 81, when that all started. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I've been doing that for a while, uh, putting on productions, and I've always, 
I've always uh, had this knack for throwing a great party. That's what everybody knows about me. So I kind of put them all together. Um, I don't know how you keep up with the current music. It always blows my mind at your parties that you have these mixes that'll have like stuff I've never heard before, and it's like something brand new and really great to dance to. Yeah. Because you have a good ear for dancing. Yeah, because well, I love to dance. Yeah. <laughs> but I have some young nieces, so they fill me in. I say, oh, well, what's good? They, they the give secret, me a secret they, sauce. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So they send me some things. I'm like, well, I like that one. I don't like that one. So, um, you know, and then I grew up in uh, Detroit, Motown. So oh. we've been dancing, dancing since we could wear shoes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of know. Uh, but it's a lot of fun, and Art Groove is uh, really a lot of fun, and you should really come out, and you won't you won't regret it. <laughs> Trust me. And you're me. thinking about expanding Art Groove and going to two weeks. Uh, we we might year. because this year we sold out so fast that right. I couldn't even put in people that have been in it before, and I kind of right. feel bad about that. Uh, well, you did say in your email, please reserve soon because really, it's and I'm not quickly. kidding. So yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'd also like to get you know more uh, musicians or bands you want to uh, showcase, debut your stuff. And, yeah. and, and you know. A, we need to have a film, some kind of a film. Yeah, film. well, John, did, actual, uh, yeah, John yeah. did that. I'd like yeah. to get some new filmmakers, like yeah. student filmmakers, because this is where you can show your showcase, stuff, because yeah. the people are there. There's going to be at least 300 people, so yeah. they're going to see it. So. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Fun, April fifteenth. I bar ten. I bar ten. So you're going to get a little buzz on. For sure. So well, my friend. Thank you so much for coming. And John, nice to see you again. Great. Met you last year when you did that big, incredible projection. Yeah. And uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I hope there's some guys out there. We got a guy. Um, thank you for joining us. And uh, remember, give yourself lots of room. Room for love, room for fun, room for dancing and looking at good art. Room to grow and room to glow. And we will be glowing at Art Groove on April <laughs> We'll be grooving 15th. at Art Groove. Glowing and grooving. Groovy at artgroove.info if you want to email me. Yeah. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>